people Where you come from And where you going now Strange wind blowing Yeah, everything's closing We gotta keep well, our eyes open Well, um, it started, started last summer I recorded a 7-inch um, single of, of a couple reggae songs that I had sitting, um, sitting around the house and then I just recorded them as kind of just a project to give to my friends and maybe put in my, um, my time capsule for the year of 2008 and then um, I spent a lot of money putting, putting it on to, uh, to vinyl. So. I reached out to some friends to get a show, and I ended up getting a record deal. And I just handed an album two weeks ago, which is an extension of the reggae project. It's called Rain. And I think that Bob Marley Legend compilation sells like more records than, you know, it's one of the biggest selling records ever. So reggae is on everybody's mind, but I think I was just playing so much rock music and in so many rock bands that. Um, I find that I was just coming home and after a practice or after a tour I would just be like, okay, I'm turning off the guitars and I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna mellow out to some reggae music and it's got such a nice history and it lines up and influences a lot of the more, you know, rock bands I like and I'm kind of borderline obsessive. There's, there's so much to go back and check out and it's, it's a really rewarding um, area of music to put a lot of your time into trying to as hard as I could to keep it recording the style that they did then so it was as live as possible and onto um, analog tape using only 15 tracks and um, we did that and we played all the songs live and then I just spent like a month with them adding stuff on and singing and calling in a bunch of friends to help me sing and play other instruments that I didn't know how to play and stuff like that. So well, some of them I'm just like, uh, they were so new, they were written for the studio, and some of them were arranged in the studio, which is something I'd never done before. And they're just so new to me that I can I can continue listening to them and just be like, oh, that's a cool song. Like I barely even know you, song. More than anything, the, the lyric stuff is is probably shows the influence of just this, the spectrum of music I listen to. Like um, for the old Roots guys, there was like one thing to sing about, which I just think would be so easy if it was just like you're calling to sing about Ja Rastafari. <laughs> And that, you know, yeah, just, you know, write a song that the Beatles do about girls or something like that is what ended up happening. I'm so much more focused on just um, the arrangement of a song and, you know, making, making myself smile like in the first five seconds for it sounding like, you know, immediately a specific thing is what I was trying to do. Or I always try to do when I write a song. I just like it to be a, a reggae summer for people that wouldn't normally expect to be having one this year. I mean, you expect that a lot of people are going to like your music and get what you're doing. Um, yeah, you know, every week gets more interesting, so hopefully it keeps doing that for, for some time now. Hey, this is uh, Sean Bones, and you can watch me rock my birthday party on babelmusic.com. <laughs>